Residents of Kwara State in north-central Nigeria have been reassured that infrastructure projects will not be abandoned as it's been insinuated in some quarters. There's a promise from the state government that projects under the Infrastructure Development Fund model will be completed, like the dualization of the road linking Kulende, UITH and Okeose areas. At the Okeode axis, the level of work done appears to be satisfactory to the commissioner, who knows that major sections of the road construction are to specification. One of the key factors for socio-economic development is road infrastructure, and it has multiple effects on the economy. So we believe strongly that the motive behind this reconstruction will be justified at the end of the day in terms of economic benefits, in terms of social benefits, in fact, in terms of general standard of living of our people. And above all, it's going to increase productivity of labor across all segments of the economic sector. Riding on this part on the back, the project manager is confident that the project will be delivered in bracket time. We are here today to give the guarantee that we are not going to stop uh, the works on the site throughout the lifetime of the project until the complete execution of the job. There are many other projects like these across the state as the government works to improve infrastructure to make life easier for residents. Many buildings are bound to be affected and the state government says property owners have already been compensated as part of the project cost.